Introduction Benjamin Graham's The Intelligent Investor is one of the most influential investment books ever written. This 1949 book has withstood the test of time and is still relevant for anyone interested in prudent investing and avoiding speculation today. A timeless classic that has shaped the world of investing will be examined. About Benjamin Graham Benjamin Graham, the father of value investing Benjamin Graham, widely regarded as the father of value investing, emphasized the importance of purchasing stocks that are undervalued relative to their intrinsic value. His investment strategy is based on fundamental analysis and a disciplined mindset, which he believed were essential for long-term stock market success. Core Concepts of the Intelligent Investor Comprehensive Guide to Investing the book The Intelligent Investor covers a vast array of topics, including market fluctuations, stock selection, portfolio management, and risk management. The book is accessible to both novice and seasoned investors and provides common-sense wisdom and guidance for anyone seeking to build long-term wealth through the stock market. Key Ideas and Insights Here are some of the most important concepts and insights from The Intelligent Investor. Chapter 1 Investment versus Speculation Graham explains the distinction between investing and speculation. He defines investing as the purchase of stocks with a margin of safety, i.e., stocks that are undervalued relative to their intrinsic value. In contrast, speculation entails purchasing stocks without regard for their intrinsic value, resulting in substantial financial losses. The chapter establishes the context by emphasizing the significance of intelligent investing and avoiding speculation. Chapter 2 The Investor in Inflation The impact of inflation on investments is a significant factor to consider. Graham offers mitigation strategies that emphasize real rates of return and investments that preserve purchasing power. Chapter 3 A Century of Stock Market History Graham provides a historical analysis of the performance of the stock market over the previous century. Investors continue to pursue returns in a market frequently driven by hype and speculation, making his warning about overvalued stock prices relevant today. Chapter 4 General Portfolio Policy – The Defensive Investor This chapter describes a portfolio strategy for defensive investors that emphasizes capital preservation. By focusing on high-quality, low-risk investments and diversifying across asset classes, defensive investors can increase their chances of achieving consistent returns. Chapter 5 – Defensive Investment Strategy The role of common stocks in a diversified portfolio is the focus of defensive investing. Defensive investors can achieve a balance between safety and return by focusing on high-quality stocks with a consistent history of earnings and dividends and by diversifying across various industries and sectors. Long-term consistency is the key, providing a solid foundation for investors seeking a more conservative approach. Chapter 6 – Portfolio Policy for the Enterprising Investor – Negative Approach Enterprising investment demands more active engagement, allowing for higher risks to achieve better returns. The sixth chapter focuses on the negative approach, in which investors eliminate stocks that do not meet specific criteria, such as a low price-to-earnings ratio or consistent earnings growth. Diversification remains crucial even for investors with a high risk tolerance. They should aim to hold at least 10 to 30 stocks from diverse industries, with a focus on the long-term outlook. By adhering to well-defined strategies and avoiding rash choices, enterprising investors increase their likelihood of success. Chapter 7, Portfolio Policy for the Enterprising Investor, The Positive Side Chapter 7 examines the procedure for identifying undervalued stocks that are likely to perform well over time. Investors can improve their long-term success by concentrating on stocks with low price-to-earnings ratios, high dividend yields, and consistent growth. Using a margin of safety and extensive research, Investors are able to protect themselves from potential losses and make informed decisions. Diversification remains essential for mitigating portfolio risk overall. Chapter 8 – The Investor in Market Fluctuations Investors are frequently swayed by market fluctuations, 
making irrational decisions based on emotion. Investors can prevent hasty decisions by viewing fluctuations as opportunities rather than threats and concentrating on the intrinsic value rather than short-term price movements. A prudent investment strategy and a constant margin of safety serve as a buffer against market fluctuations. The eighth chapter cautions against the risky practices of market timing and speculation on short-term price fluctuations. Chapter 9, Investing in Investment Funds In addition to diversification, professional management, and liquidity, investment funds include fees and potential disadvantages. The ninth chapter examines these advantages and precautions, advising investors to investigate management teams, investment philosophies, fees, expenses, and tax implications. Chapter 10, The Investor and His Advisors Selecting a reliable and knowledgeable advisor is crucial. The tenth chapter examines various types of advisors and cautions against high-pressure sales techniques and conflicts of interest. Maintaining a productive advisor-client relationship requires transparency, thorough research, and a complete understanding of fees and compensation. Chapter 11, Security Analysis for Individual Investors For individual investors, the intelligent investor provides a comprehensive overview of security analysis. In this chapter, Benjamin Graham emphasizes the importance of understanding a company's financial statements and valuing a stock based on its intrinsic value as opposed to its market price alone. By applying these principles and using a margin of safety, investors can potentially make more informed investment decisions and achieve greater stock market success. Chapter 12, Things to Consider About Per-Share Earnings Graham discusses the significance of understanding per-share earnings and how to properly evaluate them. Despite the fact that earnings per share are a key indicator of a company's profitability, he cautions against relying solely on this metric to assess financial health. By comparing earnings to book value and considering metrics such as the dividend payout ratio and price-to-earnings (PE) ratio, investors can gain valuable insights. Overall, Chapter 12 provides insight into evaluating earnings per share for more informed investment decisions. Chapter 13, A Comparison of Four Listed Companies Four companies are analyzed in detail, American Can, Anaconda Copper, General Motors, and Texas Company. Graham contrasts their financial statements and stock valuations to illustrate fundamental value investing principles. Using metrics such as the price-to-earnings, P.E. ratio, price-to-book, P.B. ratio, and dividend yield, he reveals trends and patterns that demonstrate the significance of a safety margin. This chapter serves as a useful case study, providing insights into value investing that can help readers make more informed decisions. Chapter 14, Stock Selection for the Defensive Investor Graham provides advice for conservative, long-term investors in this work. He outlines strategies for diversification, low-cost investing, and criteria for promising stocks, emphasizing the need to concentrate on high-quality companies with stable earnings and dividends. This chapter is a valuable resource for conservative investors who seek to preserve capital and earn reasonable returns with low risk. Chapter 15, Stock Selection for the Enterprising Investor Aimed at investors who are willing to actively manage their portfolios and accept greater risk in exchange for higher returns. Graham suggests emphasizing undervalued or unpopular stocks, diversification, and value-based investment strategies. It also cautions against speculative or volatile investments. This advice can empower enterprising investors to construct superior portfolios for long-term success.